a huge leak today regarding the Galaxy S20 Plus's camera, right down to the camera sensors that the phone is using mostly some really good news, but also some things that don't really make sense. We see the S20 Plus has a huge surprise in store for us, and that is 8K video recording. But for me, although it's great to see Samsung pushing boundaries with this type of thing, it does open a lot of questions. For example, how much data will this actually take up? Will there be a recording time limit on 8K video? What will the bit rate be? Will there be electronic image stabilization as well? Will there be HDR on here? Some of these questions are answered by the leak. The main camera sensor is confirmed to be a brand new sensor called the Sony IMX555. This is therefore confirmed that the new 108 megapixel sensor from Samsung is going to be exclusive to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The astute of you guys out there will be wondering how on earth you can get 8K video recording in the Galaxy S20 Plus with a 12 megapixel main camera sensor? And the answer is you just can't get 8K from 12 megapixels, the resolution isn't high enough to output 8K video. You need at least a roughly 33 megapixel sensor to do that. So are Samsung going to be upscaling 4K video into 8K? Or are they going to use a completely different camera sensor altogether to record that 8K video? might be the latter of the two. The secondary camera here is shown to be the Samsung GW2 image sensor. GW2 being the next generation after the GW1 sensor, which has been used by Redmi and Realme, for example, in some of their budget phones. XDA think this is a 48 megapixel sensor, but the GW1 was a 64 megapixel sensor. And also Ice Universe is thinking that that sensor is also going to be 64 megapixels. This would have enough pixels to shoot genuine 8K video on the Galaxy S20 Plus. It should use ISO cell technology though and shoot 16 megapixel images as standard. XDA aren't sure exactly what lens this camera sensor is going under, be it the ultra wide or maybe the zoom lens. Although Ice Universe is convinced it's going under the zoom lens and XDA say that actually the zoom will be going up from 2x zoom to 3x zoom this time around. And also if you do want to record an 8K video, there won't be any HDR support, which is a bit of a downer, but is fully expected at that resolution. The third camera in the lineup being named also as a Samsung sensor and XDA don't know what the fourth cutout is going to be used for. Ice Universe thinks it's a time of flight sensor and I would much prefer that type of sensor over a macro lens. On the front, you get a 10 megapixel Sony image sensor for the selfie camera, which is the same as we see in the S10 phones and also the Note 10 phones. That will support 4K video recording up to 60 frames a second. We also saw some video demos of single take photo and pro video mode, which are two different functions that Samsung are going to be bringing to the S20 phones this year. I don't think many people will use these modes too much after the initial usage of the phone, but it's good to have extra features anyway. So with all this information, we can basically confirm the camera setups of all three of the phones. The Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus actually using a 64 megapixel zoom camera according to Ice Universe. That is the Samsung GW2 image sensor, 64 megapixels, not 48 megapixels like was tipped and rumored beforehand. Ishan Agarwal on Twitter also telling us that the Ultra will use a periscope style zoom camera different to the zoom cameras on the other two phones that will be capable of a 100x hybrid zoom and that will go toe to toe with the p40 pro from huawei let me know your thoughts on the camera setups of these phones because it is completely new camera hardware this time around and i'm expecting some big improvements let me know what you're looking forward to the most subscribe for all the latest tech news and everything to do with samsung that's it for now but i'll see you in the next one